America is heading for an economic 9-11. This isn't about dark clouds. This is about reality. And when I hear these economists talking, I'm wondering what they're looking at. I'll give you an example. When they add up the inflation numbers, core inflation, they don't put in food and fuel. Who are they kidding? The real people, the working people in this country are already in a recession. Just look at the numbers. Median household income, half above, half below, is below 1999 levels. For the real working people, when they're going to the pump, there's a recession. People saying this housing crunch is going to be over in three months, it's just beginning. And by the way, the subprime problem, that's the crack in the foundation. It's going to topple like the World Trade Center from the top. All these deals that were being done by these big wigs, you take companies like Maclow in New York City, seven billion dollars worth of real estate with 30 million down. Who does deals like this? And these kind of deals have been doing all over the world. Fed says, listen, we're not minimizing this, that this is a non-existent problem, but we believe that where there'll be some losses, there'll also be some growth, there'll be ebbs and flows, was what Bernanke and also the Treasury Secretary have had to say, that, you know what, it's not all dark clouds, we're going to get out of this, this is a correction. When you hear that, your reaction is? It's jive talk. I mean, look, we said back in our Trends Journal in March 20th of this year, the Fed was in a rate trap. We said if they lower rates, they crash the dollar. Voila, the dollars crash, they lowered rates. You hear all these people on Wall Street yelling to low rates. If they raise rates, they crash the economy. The game is over. The Fed is highly responsible for doing this by bailing out their buddies with cheap money over and over again. This trend has been long in the making, and now it's come home to roost. Right. You know the people that know it? The people on the street. They're the ones that know it. Not on Wall Street, on the real street. There's the media world, the political world, and the real world. In the real world, people know what's going on. You paint a really uh, bleak picture that, uh, that we could be facing a depression as great or worse than the Great Depression. You're talking about talking about tax revolts, gas riots, people living in self-storage units. You look at our Trends Journal. We predicted these before they would happen. I'll tell you why the depression is going to be worse than the last one. With the last depression, most people didn't own homes. There was no such thing as uh, uh, home equity loans. Our parents didn't have credit cards. All right. We, the consumer wasn't 14 trillion dollars in debt and the government wasn't 9 trillion dollars in debt. They had surpluses, both budget and trade. Then we, we heard from the Bank of America today. They're saying that they don't expect this to uh, end by the second quarter of next year. I mean, how do they know? They didn't see it coming. Now they're saying when, they're, when it's going to end. Today's news, what did you just read about the Dow? We're heading toward 10,000, that's Decimate, the next level. Yeah. And some people are talking 8,000. He predicted the stock market crash of 1987 and the breakup of the Soviet Union. And that man joins us right now. Good morning. Uh, bonjour. Yeah, we appreciate your time this year. So this year, you're predicting a Category 5 economy. The big news is interest rates, and the Federal Reserve has to raise interest rates to keep the value of the dollar high, because the United States is reliant on outside investors, and they don't want to get paid back with cheap dollars. The downside, of course, is the economy is already slowing down. We see in home sales, not great retail sales for Christmas.